from this diagram, we are going to learn how basically an automobile engine works. This is a cylinder. This is basically one cylinder that we have. And this is, these are the walls of the cylinder, and this is the piston that we have. And this piston is what moves up and down. And we have two inlets. One inlet is for fuel and ox, fuel and air to come in a mixture. And this is a valve that opens and closes. And there is another outlet here that takes out the exhaust gases. And there is another valve that opens and closes at appropriate times. And when the fuel and air mixture is inside, the spark plug provides a spark to ignite the mixture. Now let's see in sequence what happens in this cylinder. This piston basically moves up and down. So the first step is to bring the fuel and oxidizer or air inside the mixture. So this valve opens up. This valve, of course, is closed. And this fuel and air mixture comes in as, the push, as this piston is pushed down. This acts like a syringe, a medical syringe. When we push this down, the fuel and air mixture is basically sucked in, and it fills up this entire volume as this piston comes down. That is the first step or stroke. This is a four-stroke engine that we are talking about. First stroke is intake. And the second stroke now, the second step is, we close both of these valves and push this mixture. This mixture is, again, by pushing the piston up, this mixture that is in here is compressed, is compressed to very high pressures, roughly about eight times to nine times. And this piston moves back up here. And again, we have to spend energy to move this piston up or compress this mixture here. When this mixture is compressed to the, to the predetermined pressures, at that time, the spark plug ignites this mixture. And this flame front travels all the way and burns all this fuel. And this fuel reaches very high temperatures, and it pushes the piston all the way down, all the way down. So this is actually the power stroke. The first stroke is intake. The second stroke is compression. Compression. And the third stroke is the power stroke. That is the stroke that gives us the power from this engine. And the first stroke and the second stroke we have to supply the energy that is required to, b to bring in the oxidizer and fuel and also to compress. And after this, uh, after this uh, mixture expands or pushes the piston down, this valve, this exhaust valve, will open. And of course, this valve is still closed. And the p piston again moves back up. And which, for which we have to supply the power, and all these gases go out through this exhaust. And once the exhaust gases are out, this cylinder close, this valve closes again, and this valve opens, and the entire cycle again repeats. So the fourth stroke is the exhaust stroke. So this is a four, basically four-stroke engine that we are talking about. We need to know the four strokes and the important components of this uh, of this engine cylinder, uh, and there generally will be a, uh, multiple cylinders. We are talking about one here, and there could be four, there could be six, there could be eight, or even ten, or even twelve sometimes. So as the engine becomes bigger and bigger, you have more cylinders, and um, that gives us more power.